Good morning, everyone. We're presenting you today with another hot topic. Today's hot topic is going to be about rioting and protesting. With me, I have Eric. Hello. And Noel. Hi, Noel. And I'm Miss Tanita. So, let's get started. We've just watched the video footage on the England riots. Eric, have there been any famous riots in Hong Kong? Yes, recently, in July 1st, there have been a riot about the uh, 71 uh, Republic of China rioting. And there were like a few millions of people protesting in the streets. Mm. Okay, can you tell me more about this? Why are they protesting? What's their purpose? They're actually protesting about the human rights, about China, and um, they uh, have a, uh, a, a lot of marches because they are unhappy about with the government in Hong Kong, why they can't uh, have a social harmony like the ones in Republic of China, like before. Mm. I see. Noel, do you have any opinions about this? Yeah, just like Airway in July 1st, and all the people in Hong Kong go for a protest because they want to protect their human rights. So, yeah, I think this is the famous. Okay, so the rioting that's happened recently has been about human rights. Okay, that's a very important topic. Um, would you say rioting, protesting happens a lot in Hong Kong or in Chinese culture? Or is it something that mainly Western people do? I think it's uh, mainly Western people because I uh, always see that is um, most of them what uh, happen in Western like they will they not go for only go for protest they like uh, do some danger things like um, fold something to the shop and make people get hurt. Okay, why do you think this is Eric? Mm, because they uh, aren't happy with the government first. And secondly, I think they want to express their anger and their opinions to the government. But before the government may did not reply to their uh, expressions or opinions, though they might have to take another uh, big action and have protests on the streets. Yes. Okay, so that's a good point. So people might riot because they are unhappy with the government and they want to express themselves. They have probably peacefully um, spoken to the government about these issues, but they've not been heard. So they take to the streets and they protest. But why do you think it's not Chinese culture to do this and just Western culture? What do you think is the difference? Mm, in my opinion, I think that uh, Western culture, they can be a bit uh, more like, because uh, Western culture is more open and uh, the Chinese culture is more like strict and limited so I think that the Western culture uh, may have a, a more upper chance to do more protection than uh, Hong Kong and the Chinese culture because Ch uh, Chinese culture they are actually uh, the government is limiting their uh, chances of doing such actions towards the country because this may uh, affect the fame or popularity of the country okay. mm -hmm. and this will also affect the image of the uh, country so I think that the Western culture can do it more openly than the Chinese culture. Noel, do you think there's any positive outcomes after a riot? Yeah, there are some. Uh, like, um, uh, government may listen to their demand and will fix the problem. So I think it's a good outcome. Okay, that's a good point. So even though, like you said before, writing can be dangerous and um, people can get hurt, there can be positive outcomes like people are listened to. Okay? Um, any more causes of riots? Mm, in my opinion, I think that some of the causes may cause damage to some of the nearby stores in the streets because sometimes when people protest or riot in the streets, some of the innocent uh, things, for example shops, they may get damaged by the uh, protesters because they're angry and express their 
their anger. So I think they are actually being the victims of insider protesting. That's a very good point. On the video, we saw a lot of property being damaged, um, shops being broken into, things being stolen. Also, there was a lot of fire. Um, and I think the first clip showed a woman jumping out of a building that was set on fire. So it can be quite dangerous and people who are not involved are being hurt by these things and their property is being damaged. So, lastly, would any of you think there would be a cause that would make you join a protest or participate in a riot or a protest? Um, I think if the government don't listen for our demand, I would go for a protest. You would protest? Yes. Um, if the government do uh, ridiculous things, for example, uh, adding too much to taxes on uh, people's workload or demand a, a, a price increase in properties, I think I would do a protest or riot in the street. <laughs> okay, so when you say a protest, you mean like peaceful protest, yeah? Yes. Like just saying that we're unhappy about this, not necessarily rioting. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you tell me the difference between a riot and a protest? A riot is more dangerous and uh, more people get hurt, but a protest is more peaceful. Good. Okay, so that sums up our topic for today. We've been discussing protesting and rioting. So I hope you bear this in mind when you are watching the news and you take notice of the different issues, the social issues that are going on around in Hong Kong. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Mm.